You could say that I was born with a brush and an eyeshadow palette in my hand. I was always obsessed with makeup, and I even sneaked into my mom and dad's room at night to practice on them. A little pink eyeshadow, some red lipstick, and glitter. Perfect. Hi guys, I'm Regina from Seattle, Washington. Before I continue, please hit like and subscribe. I had a happy family. My dad was in the army and was as big as a bear and as strong as a lion. When I was little, I used to daydream about all the exciting missions he went on. Daddy is defeating tigers today. He's building a hospital for children in Africa. Despite how proud I was of my dad, I couldn't help but miss him. Luckily, my mom was amazing too. She worked at a cosmetic store, so she was like my personal shopping assistant and taught me everything about fashion and makeup. But everything changed when I turned seven. Mom fell madly in love with an accountant and dad let her go. Will mom ever come back? I don't like to see her only through video calls. My baby girl, I know you're sad. But see, your mom is happy and will be happy too. I'll get a desk job and I'll take care of you from now on. But even though dad was so sweet, he was an army man and he didn't know any better. So he would wake me up at five every morning with a trumpet to go for her run. He could only cook beans and sausage. And when it came to my hair, the brush is stuck. Ouch! Let's watch a tutorial, okay? Before I end up completely bald, after a good dose of online tutorials and MSA videos later, dad finally evolved into a normal parent. Here's your packed lunch and your PE bag. Ready for school? Thank you, Daddy. You're the best. Except when it came to boys. When I was in middle school, one of my classmates gave me a chocolate heart for Valentine's Day, and I showed it to him. Dad, look! A boy asked me out! My dad snatched the chocolate and ate it in one enormous bite. No boyfriend until you turn 21. You'll have time once you're grown up. But right now, you need to focus on your studies. Okay, Dad. And the day after, the boy who had given me the gift transferred to another school. What if dad scared him off? I felt furious about dad and told mom everything when she video called me. But suddenly, she hung up and I realized it was because of her new husband who didn't really like her talking to me. And gradually, she ended up only calling on birthdays and Christmas. I learned to live with it and got busy watching makeup tutorials and trying makeovers. But then, in my junior year, I met Simon. And he was so perfect, it was no wonder I forgot everything else, even my passion. I'm sure Dad will change his mind when he sees him. Hey, Dad, I'm bringing a friend for lunch today, okay? Sure, bring her over. Uh, it's a boy. I expected Dad to explode, but he said nothing. Ooh, did he change his mind? But I was wrong, so wrong. When we got back from school, Dad opened the door without a smile and stared at Simon before turning back towards the kitchen. Your dad's kind of scary. Him? No. He's sweet. Fluffy. I dragged Simon into the kitchen. See? He made fried chicken. He likes you. Sit down. Sit down. But after he'd filled our plates, Dad grabbed a piece of chicken tight and, looking Simon in the eyes, he snapped it in half. Simon literally squeaked and shot to his feet. I, I suddenly remembered I have to water my fish. I, I mean, iron my plant. Bye. After that, Simon dumped me, and everyone started whispering that my dad was a crazy, dangerous dude. I thought all the guys would stay away from me now, but I was stunned when they all asked me out to prove they were daring and not scared. Ha! Huh, see, Dad? Your strategy backfired. It felt like being on The Bachelorette with everyone trying to win my heart. Hmm, too short, too tall. Lame joke. Smells bad. You. Yeah, you'll do. But like a dragon guarding a princess, my dad made them all run away. That was until the next year when James transferred to our school. As soon as he walked in, I knew he was the one. Tall, with abs like a washboard, and hair that looked straight out of a conditioner commercial. He was the captain of all the school teams, top of the class, and richer than Elon Musk. Well, a little poorer than Elon Musk. Oh boy, is it even legal to be this hot? I was pretty, but for someone in James's league, I had to up my game. The next day, I woke up at 3 a.m., and after literally hours of careful styling, I was ready. That day at lunch break, I gathered my courage and went straight to sit beside James. Hi, I'm Regina. And I'm amazed. Haven't I seen you on TikTok? You look like a celebrity. Then he kissed my hands like a gentleman. Play it cool. Breathe. Breathe. 
James asked me out a few weeks later, so I brought him home. There's no point in dating him if he can't get past dad. Just so you know, my dad can be a bit hyper-protective. Don't worry, he can't resist me. Dad pulled the same tough guy routine, but James was unflappable. When Dad told James to carry super heavy stuff, James did it whistling. Then they got into an eye-staring contest, and James didn't back down. Okay, I'm going to bed. Have fun, you two. Eventually, Dad ran out of ideas. Now that he survived my dad's trials, we can start dating for real. We had so much fun. But then James started to get a little bit too enthusiastic. Every time we were alone, he tried to kiss me, and I wasn't ready. But I didn't know how to tell him, so every time he got closer, I dodged. During the movie, I spilled soda on myself. Ugh, oh, I'm so clumsy. In the library, I sneezed. Ugh, oh, allergies. Walking home, oh look, a penny. Ouch. Oh no, are you okay? No, I'm not okay. What is wrong with you? He'll understand. Tell him. Can we take things a bit slower? What? I like you, but maybe we should get to know each other better. You know what? I only dated you because everyone said your dad was too scary, but he's not all that. You're breaking up with me? It's more like we never even dated since you don't want to kiss me. <sighs> what a loser. As James left, I felt my heart break in two. That night, I was too ashamed to tell my dad what had happened with James, and I didn't want him to tell me I told you so. But at dinner, I couldn't hold it in anymore, and I started crying into my soup. Dad got up and hugged me until I stopped. You were right, Dad. I'm sorry I didn't listen. Baby girl, I don't care about being right. I just don't want to see you hurt. Remember, you don't need anyone. You're a smart girl, and I know you can succeed. But don't forget yourself. Didn't you love makeup? You haven't given me a makeover in years. Oh, Dad, you're the best. And then I vowed to myself, no more boys. From that day on, I only focused on my life and school. I made friends with a few awesome girls, and I started to go back to my passion, which was makeup and fashion. Once, when our teacher invited the whole class to her wedding, my friend couldn't believe I didn't hire a professional stylist. Your makeup is flawless. Maybe you could give me a little touch-up? Of course. Let me ask my dad to bring my beauty case. When my other classmates saw my friend's new look, they all wanted a makeover too, including my teacher. After that moment, word went around that I would give the best makeovers, and I became the school's unofficial fashion guru. Girls and boys lined up after class to talk to me. Have you tried an autumn palette? Ironic bow ties are for clowns only. You cut these bangs by yourself, didn't you? I liked how makeup positively affected my friend's self-esteem, and I spent all my pocket money on it. I wielded my brush like a Japanese samurai sword. But then, one day, a girl came to me with a problem I couldn't solve. I want to go blonde, but the bleach ruins my hair. Is there an alternative? After Googling for a day, I realized that the only way to go blonde was to damage the hair. But what if I can find an alternative solution? Imagine how many people I could help. And so, I went down the rabbit hole of research, and when I thought I had found a solution, I got permission from my teacher to use the chemistry lab, even though chemistry was the only class I had failed. Okay, hair sample, check. Dye sample, check. Now, if I put this here, and then a drip of that there… OMG, it's on fire! My hair sample is on fire! A boy in the lab came to help me. Oh, thank you. You saved me. I'm… Regina, the girl who has a scary dad. I'm Tyrell, and I'd love to know why you were setting fire to my lab. Your lab? Let's say I'm the resident chemistry nerd. I looked at him. Pimples, thick glasses, bad haircut, and oh my god, are those khaki pants? Gosh, this guy really needs a makeover. But I wasn't in the business of giving unrequested advice, so I told Terrell about my research instead. He gave me suggestions, and I realized that my love for all things beautiful was totally rooted in chemistry. Who knew science could be so glamorous? But no matter how much I wanted to learn, I kept messing up with chemicals. That, how did you do that? Instead of getting mad, he helped me fix it. In exchange for all his help, I offered to tutor him in English. Spanish was his first language, so he needed it. And I invited him to my house to do homework. Don't worry, Dad. He's just a friend. He's still a boy. Door open at all times. 
Yeah, yeah. Like I could fall for a guy like Terrell. He's not my type. I needed to test all my beauty products, and since Terrell was always around, I convinced him to be my guinea pig. One facial cleanser and haircut at a time, Tyrell turned into a hottie. You can't help yourself from turning frogs into princes, eh? But he's so cute now. No, don't think like that. You said no more boys. The more I tried to stop developing a crush on Tyrell, the more I realized how cool he was. Until he walked into the lab with a gorgeous girl at his side. Oh no, he has a girlfriend? Why does this feel so horrible? Hi? Hey, Regina. This is my older sister, and she's an angel investor for women's startups. I told her about your ideas, and she'd like to invest in them. I was so relieved to hear that she wasn't his girlfriend that it took me a moment to register the rest of the sentence. An investor? You deserve a lot of success. But you helped me out a lot. It's hard to say no to a beautiful and smart girl like you. Tyrell blushed to the tip of his ears, and I couldn't resist. So I kissed him, and he kissed me back. I thought I was just a friend. You can be my friend and my boyfriend. Really? But your dad? I'll talk to him. Tyrell was nothing like the boys I had been with before, and I hoped that he could see it too. But when I explained, he refused. If he really likes you that much, he can wait a few years. No, that's not fair. It doesn't have to be fair. Now, didn't I promise to take you to the mall? <sighs> if you think you'll mollify me with some shopping, you're mistaken. Dad really seemed determined to make me forget, and he said yes to everything I wanted. But I had other plans. I texted Tyrell to meet us in the garage where we had parked. If I can't convince him by myself, maybe Tyrell will. But when we were in the elevator to get to the car, it suddenly stopped, and the lights went off. I switched on the torch on my phone and pressed all the buttons, but nothing changed. It looks like we'll be stuck here for a bit. Dad didn't reply. He was staring at the floor. Dad? He doesn't look so good. I'm sorry, baby girl. Dark, small spaces bring back bad memories. Ugh, my chest. I feel like I can't breathe. I looked at my dad, stunned. I always thought he was invincible, but the truth was, he was just human. I pressed the emergency button, but nothing happened. Dad started breathing very fast. He's having a panic attack, and there's no signal in here. Sit down, put your head between your knees, and think about nice things. I miss your mom most of the time. I sat beside my dad and wrapped my arms around him. I miss her too, but we are happy together, and you've been an amazing dad. I'm so proud of you. And I am of you too. I kept talking to my dad until he was a little bit calmer, and then the doors to the elevator opened. It was Tyrell and the firemen, and they were getting us out. My hero! I'm glad you're okay. I got worried when you weren't answering the phone. I realized the elevator was stuck, and I called the emergency service. That was very clever of you. I think your daughter is amazing. I came here to convince you to let me date her, but I, I know how much she cares about you. And if it's really important, I'll wait for her for a few years. But just maybe, please don't let me wait forever. Dad looked at me, and I could see something changing in his eyes. You have shown me that strength is not always in the muscles. Some old memories brought me to my knees, but you kept your cool and helped me through it. So yeah, I think you're strong enough to take care of yourself. And I like this guy. Oh, thank you, Dad. But if you hurt her, I'll crush you. Like a can. That is very clear, sir. <laughs> Luckily for me, Dad didn't have to crush anyone, because Tyrell was the perfect boyfriend who grew up into a perfect man. With his help, I developed a makeup line that became a global sensation, and Tyrell became my head of research. Knowing I was in good hands, Dad retired early and started traveling the world, challenging himself to explore the darkest caves. And in one of those caves, he met a spry, adventurous widow, whom he married the next year. See, Dad, true love always finds a way.